Hi, I'm Bambi Wires. I'm a radiation oncologist at the UW Cancer Center at Pro Healthcare. As technology improves, we are able to personalize treatments more and more specifically for our patients. In my world, in the radiation oncology world, we've actually been doing that for quite some time. We do CT-based planning where we are doing a treatment plan based specifically on the patient's anatomy. And as no two patients are alike, no two treatment plans are alike. I think that when a patient first hears they have cancer, they don't hear the next three hours of whatever is told to them. And so to be told you have to see this doctor, that doctor, go here, go there, it becomes very confusing and overwhelming. And so one of the things that our cancer center has is a navigator program to help navigate these patients, to have a point person so they don't necessarily have to know exactly which team member do I need to go to right now. There's always a, a go-to person to help them through this because it's a journey. Some cancers might need surgery followed by chemotherapy. Others might need radiation therapy alone. Others need a combination of chemotherapy and radiation therapy followed by surgery. And so it just depends on where the cancer is, how advanced it is. And these aren't decisions that one, one dot can necessarily make the best judgment for the patient, um, especially if it's gonna need a team approach. We need the surgeon, the radiation oncologist, and the medical oncologist talking to each other. I always tell my patients that they are an active player in the surveillance and the follow-up because after treatment, we still want to make sure things are good, that they've recovered from their treatment, that they've re-entered normal life, and that there's no sign of cancer, not now, not six months, not six years from now. But we can't be there every day, and so they have to let us know if at any point they are concerned about something, we want to know. I believe that knowledge is power, and by educating our patients, we can empower them, and that's how I want every patient to be treated.